hello and welcome and if you are watching this today I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mommies out there and to anyone who is taking care of a little one or an older one <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I make this beautiful wall art piece today if you want to see how it's done continue watching Okay, to start, I'm just going to go ahead and take my mat outside like I'm doing here. And I just placed it on the same cardboard that it came in. And I went ahead and sprayed the entire thing. I already had a, about a half a can of spray paint left from a previous project. I just went ahead and used that, hoping that it was going to be enough to cover and coat my mat. But that wasn't the case, you guys. <laughs> so anyways, I went ahead and spray painted all the mat I did all around making sure I was getting in um, all the grooves all the sides just making sure that everything is nicely coated with the spray paint because I didn't want to leave any um, evidence of the black rubber showing because that's not the look I was going for <laughs> so yeah I just go ahead and spray uh, painted everything like I'm doing here and spray painting is kind of hard on your wrist oh my gosh by like the second can I was already like oh my wrists are hurting <laughs> but anyways it was fun because you can see the results coming through and that was kind of exciting so just keep going you know so I ran out of paint I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick run to Home Depot to get another one Okay, you guys, so here's the spray paint that I use. It's the Rustoleum Metallic Gold Finish. And it just leaves a nice glossy finish at the end. You don't need a primer or even a top coat. It's great by itself. So yeah, I'm back at the house spray painting some more. And it was so windy, you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but the wind was just working against me and I mean it was good at the same time because it kept the outside area really ventilated for me so I wasn't breathing too much of the spray paint. And oh also you need a mask for this because I think that will help you a little bit. But yeah I just went ahead and spray painted everything like I said earlier. I just went ahead and coated the entire mat with the spray paint you guys like it was golden honey and it already looks so good just the way it is right now. But. I've got some more for it. Keep watching. <laughs> Alright, so I finished spray painting and I just left it outside to dry for some time. And then I took, go ahead and take that same cardboard that the, the mat came in and I just went ahead and used that as the back for my mat. And I just went ahead and cut, uh, cut around where the paint ended knowing that um, it was just the right size to fit the mat. Okay, doesn't the back look pretty also I'm gonna go ahead and use that uh, place that on the outer side of the mat to have another art piece on the wall even against the wall even though nobody's gonna see it but I just know there's something pretty behind it <laughs> so I just go ahead and um, place um, uh, contact paper on the unpainted side of the, the cardboard guys I am not a DIY person but I like doing them except I don't have the right tools so I just use whatever I have around to help me like here they said you're supposed to use a credit card or something to press it down but I used my hands and it worked just fine and I just went ahead and cut all the extra pieces out and I added um, more on the other side yes I have a little bit of bubbles in it but it's all good because the mat is going to cover it so I go ahead and bring my mat inside, just inspecting to make sure that it's nicely dried because I don't want any boo-boos. I don't have any time to go back and spray paint. <laughs> so I just go ahead and um, uh, apply my E6000 glue on the back of the mat. I also went heavy on here because I didn't want to have any accidents later where this thing falls off and breaks uh, whatever decor pieces I have around the wall. Or on the table where I'm gonna hang it so I just went really heavy-handed with the glue here I also applied a little bit more glue um, on the cardboard itself so just go ahead and bring your board your cardboard and place that on top of the mat making sure everything is nicely aligned and then you just go ahead and press it down I guess not yet <laughs> uh, 
anyway so yeah I just go ahead and press it down making sure that everything is aligned together no peeking through no extras hanging and I just took my uh, scissors to go ahead and press that down once again to make sure that the cardboard is stuck to the mat okay and then you just go ahead and flip it over doesn't that look pretty oh I just love it so yeah that's the finished look I'm gonna go ahead and leave it out here on the table overnight hopefully by tomorrow it will be nice and dry and ready for me to hang and I'm just gonna use my command strip to hang it up on the wall because that's the best way to do it I don't know how else I was gonna hang it up on the wall and ta-da! how pretty is that you guys it looks so good you can't even find this at home goods or Burlington it just looks so luxe and expensive and it didn't really cost that much and it didn't take uh, much of my time either what do you guys think you like <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the tutorial or the DIY if you happen to try this please let me know and you can find a lot of those here on YouTube or even Pinterest there's so many variations of them but I chose this one because I thought it was just gonna be easy and inexpensive to do all right, you guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and please subscribe to my channel. I thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.